Nice. So, yeah. All right. Do I, I did want to uh, talk a little bit more about, like, languages, but uh, before we get to, get to that, let's oh. get to this leveling tree. All right. So let's let's talk some more strategy here. So Now that's strategy. So I feel like the, la- the last time we went through this, we wanted to we, uh, uh, go through the crafting skills first. We could at right. least have a base level of crafting. So we already got right. melee mod. Maybe, uh, I guess the other one is the armor mod, the one right above it. Okay, protect yourself from a wasteland with access like level 1 rank on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess yeah, we can invest in that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Do you still have... Oh, I still have... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I have another more. Alright. Right, because like, I already leveled up like you know, level 4 now. So, uh, well, we yeah. can't really All do right. these yeah, yet. Gotta be level 13, 16. Right. Um, but we can still look at other stuff, or do we want to just like hmm. move over to like something over here? Oh, yeah, I forgot that you were a lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> um, lucky Smegdorf. I guess you can invest... Uh, I guess it depends on how much you're planning on using vats. Then I would say invest in Mysterious Stranger. Because that'll uh, pretty much... Or we could do Bloody... You know, let's do Bloody Mess. So that's uh, in the luck tree. And it's the oh. third one down. Third one down? From luck. Oh, well. Uh, which is the far right one. And, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's when you make bodies explode, so... For just for sheer entertainment value alone, let's go with that one. Sure, yeah, I like that. <laughs> it's it's just objectively the best perk in the game. Uh, the fact that there are multiple levels of it here is just great. Uh, yeah. And it looks like that's all we can spend for now. Yeah. I think we'll like get down to these, maybe. Well, this one probably. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. We don't uh, quite need those yet. We're still pretty early in the game. Right. Um, oh, also keep in mind that you can't wear power armor forever because you need a uh, fusion core to power it. Oh right. Um. Uh, can't, yeah. There was, and, a, there was a space that uh, that was gen that's generally used to store all of your power armor, right? So. Right. Well, I mean, you could store it in the settlement that they're going to. Oh. Are they still walking? Um. Around? Yeah. Because okay. you can just dump the armor anywhere, and it'll right. be fine. But the settlement sanctuary where your old neighborhood was. So oh. you can just leave it in one of those houses. Dog meat found something. It's usually something useless. Yeah. Or he'll find something that you already found and decided not to pick up. But he'll go back for it anyway. Ah, uh, God, no, I... dog meat was just so hyped up in the E3 trailers. Mm. And the payoff is just so not worth it. I'm sorry if you guys like dog meat, but dog meat's just a useless companion. I'm trying to remember which house exactly that I came <laughs> which from. Which one yours was? Yeah. Could uh, it be this one? Could have sworn. Oh. It looks like it's this one. Yeah, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, that's your house. Yeah. So. Yeah, and there's the crib, the mobile. All right, I'll just set it right here. Uh, how do I get out? I think X. No. No, that's reloading. Uh, All right. The left button. No. Oh. Hold Y. No. That's... A. Yeah. Hey. Okay. There we go. We'll remember that, uh, no. or we won't, and you'll yell at us every time we forget how to do it. So every time you just like walk around this corner, you just think, "Huh." Oh, there's uh, a. Oh. oh, there's oh a, okay. Okay. Uh, there's a big daddy. Oh, I should have bought more ammo. I gotta change my face. Oh. Uh, now there's nothing there. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think uh, we already went over how rads work in this game, right? Where it takes away. Oh, Jesus. I still oh, have yeah, this you still thing. have your minigun. Uh, can I swap that out? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, right, right trigger oh, to okay. get to your inventory. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so. Dad, oh, I. Mean, straight up. It goes without saying. Right. One time I killed a death call by myself. I kind of doubt that. But then again, I killed one, so who am I to judge? Well, it's nothing. How many times do I have to die to get this one challenge in Fallout New Vegas where you had to try and kill a death claw with a silenced 22 caliber pistol, a rechargeable rifle, which is the weakest energy weapon in the game, or what was it? Oh, a switchblade or, or boxing tape. Can I? 
Uh, oh, so you need really raw materials. Okay. To be able to... So that, that's the appeal to picking up, like, Wonder Glue and Scrap Metal. Ah. And useless objects. And when you pick up useless objects, it'll tell you what the parts are composed of, so you can pick it apart later at a craft table. Okay. So Which, I think this see. is actually a really neat mechanic they added. It gives you a reason to salvage all the things they would usually think were useless in previous Fallout games. Hmm. And it requires you to kind of think about how you keep things in your inventory and what you store in your inventory. It requires you to be a little, a little more smart about how you carry things. So that's pretty nice. Cool. Well, it doesn't look like I really have much. Mm. I don't have much material yeah. for this. Yeah, I mean, we're just starting out, so it's not like you can really do much anyway. Want to do work? Uh, should I, David? Uh, obviously the sarcastic remark. I love work. I could sit and watch it all day. Oh, uh, you're so funny, Smegdorf. You could use some real beds. Okay. On the ground for too long. So, obviously, you don't know the guys here on the apartment. <laughs> no, no. Gabe doesn't even have a bed. <laughs> oh, that's right. His room is just just a floor and TV. Yeah. So, how do you do again? Dog, like those eyes. I don't know what you look like. You said you were. I uh, I know exactly. Well, actually, you know, that's a good point, Sturgis. I have no idea what Smegdorf looks like either. I'd be glad to help. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what do I need sure to make this? Uh, I wouldn't even bother. Oh yeah? To be honest. Hmm. I'd probably just head straight for Diamond City. Okay. Otherwise, this will just turn into a like second Minecraft let's play. Side quest upon side quest upon side quest. I just keep chaining together. Alright, so, um... We're going um, to Diamond City. Where is that? Right, uh... I don't know if it's set as your quest right now, but you can change quest markers uh, if you, yeah, you yeah, can go uh, to uh, map. Uh, oh, no, oh, data, sorry. Okay, so there's the power armor. I like how it's highlighted there now. Yeah. And there's the sanctuary, I'm there. Oh, uh, so on, go. There's that. Go back to data. The, oh. Yeah, and you can tag. Oh, so, there it is. So just, like, select that, and I should be able to see yeah. it on the map oh, somewhere. Oh, on, go. It'll still appear on the the bottom of your screen, that little tick mark. Oh, yeah? Uh, but just so you know, confused, you can also uncheck the current side quest that you have. Oh, like this so, one? Yeah. Let's go back to data. Oh, okay. Then oh, right. Because this is like... Step. Yeah. There we go. We don't have time for that. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know. I know uh, that, like, I, I personally would just... Try to do like side quests just to get more materials to upgrade. That's that's what <laughs> oh, I would do. But you know, you... like doing this, like I have no obligation to follow what I actually want to do. We could probably drown just... out Minecraft in episodes just doing the main quests. Yeah. Well, the thing with Minecraft is that like it requires you to get materials that aren't always like easy to find. Yeah. And so as a result, you get a little bit of fillers, especially when you get bored of the main quest. Which probably might actually happen during this Let's Play. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I mean, there definitely are side quests worth doing. Anything that involves building up a settlement, in okay. my mind, is not worth it. Okay, so looking at the uh, bottom uh, little radar map, so when I'm looking at, like, straight ahead, is that the... Mm -hmm. uh... uh, yeah. Okay, because I'm mean, just kind of looking around like, okay, I see that one, that's highlighted. Or yeah. Something. Well, that settlement right there is still. You're just going back to Concord, but you gotta oh. go through Concord to get to Diamond City, which is True. Boston. Uh, well, okay, I'll just take the main road then. Wonder what kind of uh, enemies we will encounter this time. Uh, it should just be. A ghost it's like another, town. It's like another death claw. God, I'm like, ah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. No, just pigeon, or I guess not pigeons, crows that you can kill. But they grant you. Well, if I remember correctly, in uh, Fallout 3 in New Vegas, they granted you one experience. But I guess here they don't grant you experience. Just kind of wants to shoot the crow. <laughs> to see if I can do it. Just uh, Smegdorf okay. smash. Smegdorf smash crow good. Need the snake door to go okay, so, Oh shit, the So jump fly. is just Y button. Yeah. I actually like the kind of the look of you jumping first person. It's not just like that weird, just, I guess, halo jump. Yeah. It's I kind mean, of like a more natural, like, oh, I'm yeah. crouching and then I'm gonna jump. 
But then again, Halo is, well, A, you're well, a super soldier with true super that. armor in Halo. True that. And I don't think Halo is quite going for the realistic thing. Ah, oh, true. Until he adds sprinting. Oh, yeah. Then at hard, hardcore realism when you learn how to sprint. Three seconds in your two tons of power armor. Man, I'm just getting like visions of Skyrim, just kind of wandering here. Yeah, which I feel like uh, Bethesda really went that entire Skyrim feel is what they went for in Fallout Four, between just the general feel of the game and the way it looks. I I think it's running on, it's probably not running on the Skyrim engine, an Actually. update from the Skyrim engine, but. The entire crafting system, the fact that your weapons don't um, run out of uses, like they did in previous Fallout games, as well as the emphasis being more on adventuring and, I guess, building relationships with NPCs, maybe, with the settlement thing, is taken more from Skyrim. I don't feel like that was a good choice, because I feel like Fallout's more about surviving well, there's certainly an adventuring aspect of it, discovering all these different like post-apocalyptic tribes and meeting all these new people, but the emphasis has always been more on surviving, and I think that's what sets it apart from Skyrim and Oblivion. And that's a good thing. Fallout shouldn't be the same thing as Skyrim or Oblivion, and the fact that the lines are just so blurred to the point where Skyrim really is just Fallout without guns and vice versa. Uh, there's just something lost there. It Fallout just kind of loses its uniqueness, I think. I'll think about it. I only got time for paying customers. All right, okay. well, fine, bitch. You just lost yourself a customer. I like this guy now. I like this, like the Brahmin. Animal. The Brahmin. Yeah. Oh. Look how he carried all that stuff. Jeez. <laughs> what if I just <laughs> just lost in a magical world? Then she'll shoot you. But if you manage to kill her, you could just take all of her stuff. It's True. the way Fallout works. Nah, I'm not that mean. I'm pretty sure she isn't either. I totally yeah, forgot her name. Check out that radio station to your left. I'm sorry, what? I can't hear all the sound of me. I mean, <laughs> beating your ass. He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey fellas, fellas, we don't. Easy. We. Easy. Do you. Have you seen my face? You want to know how I? You better lower your gun. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. That's it. You're dead. Well, that's it. Fuck him up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all you need. Hello, fiends. Meet the butt of my pistol. Wait, what am I doing? Just instinctively pressing B to melee. Oh, oh yeah. Switch to the more effective melee weapon. Cause melee is all you got, Smegdorf. You own it. That's all. You. Hulk of a woman. I just want you to do bad things to me, Smegdorf. I don't care what your face looks like. Uh, might as well just take the rifle just in case. Yeah. You never know. Oh, of course. Uh, you need corn. Uh, what about this metal right arm? The That's a piece of armor. It wouldn't be compatible that you have uh, on now, right. but... These guys did not stand a chance. I get that protein, that squirrel on a stick. Yo, squirrel on a stick. Road feathers? Right, it. So, road leathers is just basic clothing that you can put armor over. Oh, okay. If you wanted to actually utilize the armor pieces that you find. So, I'm wondering, like, what weapons that I have right here. Well, if I recall, you have a pistol, shotgun, tire iron, now you have a bolt action rifle. A weak bolt action rifle, but. Mm -hmm. It's a rifle. Oh, and a switchblade. And a minigun. But, of course, the tire iron. But yeah, the tire iron is the old standby. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually upgrade the tire iron, but that's fine. There'll be many more tire iron-like weapons somewhere along the way. See the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Good. I hope you're not like Lace the Beach who did not want me to trade with her. From here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems. But we'll make it. Hmm. We always Whoa, okay. Now, Your son's on drugs? That's maybe a conversation you could have used to send to. <laughs> let's see what you have. All salvage. But nothing's junk. Dink. So and we got this stuff here. Some fertilizer. 
Uh, hey. Oh, bladed oh. tire iron. Oh, baby, uh, a triple. <laughs> so that's what. Oh, you can even afford it, too. Oh, no should I? No problem. Okay. Yeah. You can even sell your old tire iron if you press uh, right trigger. Or, sorry, left trigger. Uh, left trigger. So I'll get to your side, and you can sell anything that you don't need. You want some death claw hands and meat? 